This is the process shot. I'm Michael. I'm stuck in a haunted movie theater, and after seeing this movie, I'm not sure if I want to be here much longer. The House is a new animated British horror fantasy anthology from directors Paloma Baeza, Nikki Lindroth von Baer, Emma de Swaif, and Mark James Rolls. It presents three stories that focus upon the titular establishment across three generations of homeowners. The first, set in the late 1800s, I think, follows a poor, small family who come to be the first owners of the house, though the daughter begins to notice oddities in its layout and an unusual behavior in her parents over time. The second story, set in more contemporary times, sees a contractor trying to redevelop and flip the house, only to have to fight back against parasites, both literal beetles in the walls, and two potential tenants taking advantage of his desperation. The final story, set after an apocalyptic flood, follows the house's owner-turned-landlady as she tries to get rent from her two tenants to improve the facilities only for a strange new visitor to come to the house and change all three of their lives. The last of these shorts actually isn't as horror-driven as the rest, leaning more into magical realism than anything else. There's actually a nice segue in the treatment of genre conventions between the three, with the first story being fully within the horror genre, the second mixing horror and psychology, and the third being outside of the genre, with more to do with character than narrative. It takes away a bit from the house as a sort of cursed object or location, but it also plays into a greater theme of change and transformation, not only of the house itself, but those who take up care and ownership. As for the stories themselves, they're pretty complete in their structure and written out pretty well. They aren't completely perfect, mostly in their use of relatively simple characters, but they're still endearing or interesting enough that you want to continue paying attention instead of zoning out on them. The tonal differences and the shift in genre will push you to pick favorites, I feel, but at the very least, it all still flows together well. I'd go as far as to say that this movie has more soft horror vibes than anything, in that it's more focused on creating atmosphere and surreal visuals than any shocking sights or surprises. The visuals within the house are especially effective thanks in part to the stop-motion animation, which remains consistent across the three stories, but is still presented in very different manners. It changes things up between shorts, not only in the actual time frame and setting aesthetics, but also in the character design, which plays into the individual stories and their events, and any underlying themes unique to that story. There is, of course, a lot of variance, but it still manages to make the three environments feel wholly connected, held within a single timeline of sorts instead of three timelines which just so happen to feature the same house. There are even some visual cues to that passing of time, though it's not brought to any greater attention. What I find especially interesting is how it leaves the door open for future stories surrounding the house and its owners, even beyond the third story's post-apocalyptic scenario. The fact that the tone varies in the amount of actual horror elements can make for further surprises and suspense along the way, and overall, while the movie only offers a glimpse into this world, it's a world that I feel is still worth exploring. The House Paloma Baeza, Nikki Lindroth von Baer, Emma de Sveif, Mark James Rolls, 2022. Three and a half stars. I'd say it's worth giving a watch. If it weren't for the swearing, I'd say to bring the whole family. 
So, bring your kids if they swear a lot. Anyways, that's it for this review. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. I do think it would be nice to see more of this in the future. I just hope it doesn't go to a TV series. I don't get TV here. Like, seriously, we don't have any TV screens here. Why did I say we?